Welcome everyone to the 77th U.S. Women's Open presented by ProMedica. We are joined here by our defending champion, Yuka Sasso. Um, Yuka, earlier this week you returned the trophy. How has it felt to been a champion for the last 12 months? Uh, it was amazing. Um, <clears throat> it was life changing and at the same time, you know, to have the trophy for a year, it was, uh, it was awesome. Um, how do you feel coming in this week? Where's your game and what do you think of the golf course? Uh, my game is okay. Um, golf course is great, um, very beautiful, um, very difficult too, uh, especially the greens. Um, there's a lot of falls off. Um, so, yeah, I think it's going to be a great challenge for all of us. What do you think is going to be the key for you this week? Uh, play good golf. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Is it weird standing next to your massive <laughs> face right there? Yeah. <laughs> uh, it's all right. I mean, I'm happy. Just, like, I, I feel shy a little. <laughs> Steve? That was going to be my question. You've got your picture here. <clears throat> your picture is on the elevator of my hotel. Oh, uh, yeah. No, it's on the front door. I mean, it's, it's been everywhere. How has, how has that made you feel? Hope that doesn't um, <laughs> make you tired looking at me. <laughs> uh, yeah, it feels great. Um, I... I just feel shy a little, um, but yeah, I'm grateful for everything that USG has done. Um, you know, it's a lifetime changing and also once in a lifetime um, experience. So yeah, it was awesome. It's awesome. What has the biggest surprise been in the last year? Biggest surprise? Surprise. After winning the US Women's Open, uh, getting to, you know, lift the trophy and also getting a card in LPGA. <laughs> We're going to take one from the WebEx. You were able to go back to the Philippines with the trophy. Talk a little bit about those few days. Yeah, it was awesome. Um, I got to visit um, very famous places, um, you know, with the trophy. It was awesome. And, you know, it's the first time um, the U.S. Women's Open trophy going back to Philippines. So yeah, it was awesome. And bringing back to my home club um, and seeing, you know, my friends back home after two years and especially with the trophy was just awesome. Amelia? Have there been any specific parts of your game that you have worked on leading up to this week? Uh, ev everything. Everything? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, in US, in, I think in US Open you need everything, um, not just one part of your game. I think everything has to be good. Mm -hmm. And what about like the mental side, being defending champion? Do you feel any added pressure, and how have you kind of dealt with that? Um, I just want to enjoy and um, you know have fun, and you know, I actually don't know. <laughs> I I don't even know if I'm nervous or not. <laughs> um, yeah, <laughs> I don't know. Amy. When you talked about working on your game, you said last year you had watched Rory McIlroy videos a lot. Do you still turn to those for some advice uh, when you need some help with your game? Yeah, that doesn't change. <laughs> what yeah. do you see now in watching those that maybe has, has changed or is different? Um, I see some of his shots he's trying to hit fade with this driver um, to be more consistent. Um, I think it's. I think that's a good um, way of seeing. okay, with drive, you have to be long, but at the same time, you have to be consistent. Um, and yeah, with off the tee, I think I've been learning a lot from him recently. You took home a pretty big check last year with your win. Did you buy anything that you like had your <coughs> eye on or really wanted to get? No, I didn't buy anything. <laughs> yeah, I, I didn't buy anything. Oh, did I buy anything? No, mm -hmm. no, wait, no. If you won almost $2 million here on Sunday, would you buy something? <laughs> I want to save up a little. <laughs> yeah. Jonathan. So, Pine Needles, the last two players to re repeat did it here. Do you feel a change of perception of you maybe coming into this? Uh, I wouldn't compare myself to, you know, Annika and um, Kyrie Webb. They're awesome players. They're, they're legends. So, um uh, I mean, I, I would do my best, but whatever the outcome is, I'll be grateful. Yeah. Is there a mindset change knowing that there's a lot of people sort of mentioning your name to win this? What's that? Does it change your mindset that you're kind of a favorite this year? Yeah. Am I? <laughs> uh, uh, not, not really. I'm just here to do my best and 
you know, um, hopefully everyone that watches us golfers enjoys it. Paula. OK. Anything up there? Hi, friend. <laughs> <laughs> Um, just like looking back at the last year, uh, what's been, I mean, you've gotten to meet Roy McIlroy, you got your LPGA tour card, you went and watched like Hideki out and play golf out in Hawaii. What's been the most memorable experience that you've gotten to have being the U.S. Women's Open champion and, and just how good does it feel to be back? Um, yeah, like I said earlier, to get the LPGA tour card and to play um, full-time LPGA, I think that's the biggest um, memory um, that I'll have, um, and I think Rory meeting Rory too. I think that's the, yeah, that's the best part from last year <laughs> after winning the U.S. Women's Open. Was it weird for you to kind of get like recognized by people as like the U.S. Women's Open champion? Did you have anybody come up and be like, "Oh, you're Yuka Sasa," and you're like, "Wait, that's me." <laughs> <laughs> no, I, it's not weird, but I get very shy. <laughs> but it feels awesome. Um, calling by people, you know, oh, you're the U.S. Women's Open champ. Um, at some point last year, they started calling me champ or U.S. Women's Open champ, not by my name. Um, <laughs> I mean, it's awesome, but I thought, like, maybe you could call my name first and say you're the U.S. Women's Open champ. But this year, it's been good, so that's really awesome. Yes. Thank you so much, Yuka. Thank you. We're going to have you do...